Uh, hello there, Sharon Harnell. We're here. Welcome to number seven of our Super Size Your Business No Nonsense November Tip and Tools. Today's tip and tool is one that I have come to embrace and love. It is emotional intelligence, emotional, uh, how emotionally intelligent and able are we to handle different types of situations. I think it stems, and I could be wrong, I haven't looked at the history of it, from the Myers Briggs and personality testing. Of, oh God, I think it was the 1970s when I first learned about that from my dad when he worked at 3M. He brought it home and had the Meyer, had all of us in the family take the Myers-Briggs so he could find out what personality types we were. I think probably so he could be a better parent and, and better communicator with a, a household of girls. I had three sisters growing up, and I still have three sisters, and my mom. So he was in an outnumbered house of uh, a whole lot of women to him, but he seemed to, well, seemed nothing. He held his own. He had a very high level of emotional intelligence. Now, emotional intelligence is our our uh, tip today, analyze and, and I'm going to say build emotional intelligence in yourself, but also use it as a tool in your business to understand people better and to make sure that you can help them to be successful when you bring them into your organization, as well as understand your customers and your suppliers and other people that you interact with uh, in, in a better way. Now, there are a lot of emotional intelligence assessments out there. That's our tool today is and my question is, do you use emotional assessments, emotional intelligence assessments for your organization, anywhere in your organization? Do you use it for team building? Do you use it for personal development and employee development or, or team member development? Do you use it for hiring? Uh, I remember, geez, what, my second job in corporate America was with Knight Ritter Corporation. And I had to go down to, I think it was in I don't know, Miami, somewhere in Florida, I think it was Miami and to their corporate headquarters. And if they're not in Miami, don't be mad at me. That was decades ago. Uh, but I had to go down and take a whole slew of testing and meet with the, the corporate psychologist and everything. It was really a little bit intimidating, but really educational and really informative in terms of getting to know myself better and how I interact with uh, people and how I dealt with stress and things. There's five categories in the emotional assessment uh, testing, perception, our self-perception, self-expression, interpersonal, meaning how do we get along with other people and how do we interact and how do we manage ourselves in terms of self-regulation in different, uh, different uh, situations. Decision-making, which is critical. Do we have the power to be empathetic with other people in decision-making? And then stress management, which is huge, right? Huge in our businesses and huge in our personal lives and just pretty much huge because we live in a very stressful time, right? So do you use those tools? Have you ever used those tools? Have you ever done one? And if you haven't, I challenge you to go online, find a free one and take it today. That's what I did yesterday. I've had them before, but I haven't done one for a long time. So I did one yesterday and it was quite enlightening, right? Uh, you can, when we do them in our businesses and we do do them in our businesses, I've found that uh, somebody's emotional intelligence is often a better indicator if they're a good fit for our company or our organization than a skills test or a skills analysis. Uh, we just pretty much verify and assume people come in capable of doing the things that they're hired to do, but how they do that is and how they interact with other people and how they show up and how they uh, work on teams, it, I found to be a much better indicator of whether they're going to be a good fit with our different businesses or not. All right, that's all I've got today. Love to know your experience with emotional intelligence testing. Uh, I, I told the story in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge about, you know, if you would have had me and asked me my emotional intelligence in 2010, It'd be very different than it was in 2015, and it probably is very different than I scored yesterday, last night. But uh, that's because we all grow and evolve, hopefully. We all grow, evolve, and continually improve as we show up in our life to become a better version of ourselves. All right, if I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another No Nonsense November tip and tool you can use to implement it in your business. Have a great day, and I'll be with you tomorrow.